Rao was her maiden name, but her in-laws called her Radhe, and Baba called her Mahali. She came to Shirdi after visiting almost every dharmic kshetra, that is, places of pilgrimage like Jaisore, Pandarpur, Alande, and Nevasa, were some of the numerous places that she had visited. She came to Shirdi and stayed on because of her intense love and devotion for Baba. When she was but a child, she was married to Namdev Abba Savan. However, she never lived with her husband and was celibate. Hence, she had no children or any relatives to take care of her. She hailed from a small village in Sangamner called Khasarwadi. A Maratha by caste, she was about 75 years old. The villagers thought she was mad because of her odd behaviour and mode of dressing. She was rather short and stout and walked with the help of a stick. Her hair was uncombed, loose and matted. Illiterate, she talked continuously and irrelevantly. Mahali tied two pieces of rags around her feet. With a smile on her face, often she laughed for no apparent reason. She sat wherever she wanted and often lay on the ground on the road on her back. She addressed every male she met as Baba and every female as Ai. Mahali survived on the arms given by the numerous devotees that flocked to Shirdi. One would often hear her say, Baba, feed me, I am hungry. Start me on wages, look after my welfare. Then she would bless them with the same blessing every time. You will remain a married couple all your life. You will have five grandsons. You will be happy. And my Sahai Baba will bless you. Give me clothes. Start me on wages. Okay? This is what she said time and again. It was Baba who gave her food and clothing. There was scarcity of water in Shirdi before the Godavari Canal project came into existence. Thus, there were no gardens of flowers readily available. Nonetheless, Mahali went to the forest to pick up wild flowers and offer them to her Sahai Baba. Sometimes, she made garlands and brought them for Baba. Baba gladly accepted the garlands and would keep the garland around his neck the whole day. At other times, she would pick up fruits from the forest and offer them as prasad. Baba happily accepted those fruits because of her intense love and devotion. Baba accepts her innocent love and devotion. Baba would call out to her and give her food from his bhiksha. Once Baba gave her a dream vision and Mahali told everyone, Baba came and kissed my cheeks and said, Mahali, I will bless you with spiritual upliftment. I will give you one finger. Whoever is angry with you, I will not associate with him. Mahali, I will give you jewellery and money. One rupee, two rupees, five rupees, I will give henceforth, and I will stay with you. Then he stood in front of me and said, Keep calling me Sahai Baba, Sahai Baba, Sahai Baba all the time, both day and night. The meaning of the dream is complicated. Baba uses the word Kalyan to mean bless you. He told her the secret mystique of Prem Bhakti, that is, devotion that has no boundaries, no motives, no expectations. Devotion filled with love and the thought of the beloved deity does not cease even for a moment, be it day or night. In Mahali's case, the name of her Sahai Baba was constantly on her lips. I will give you jewellery or pesa, that is, punya, merit, good karma must be accumulated as it is the real jewel. One rupee is Advaita, the jeev has come solely from One, from Shiva, from Satya or Truth, or from Sai. Two rupees, Dvait, Shiva for the pleasure created Purush and Prakruti. 
the vasana became prakriti and aham became purush five rupees or the panch tatva panch mahabhutas the human body is panch mahabhut sahai baba sahai baba or naam jap was the only thing that mahali knew incessantly she took baba's name even without realizing she was doing naam jap was it little wonder that baba blessed her one should do naam jap with faith love and devotion by continuous naam jap the gross body with all its indriyas will be drawn towards the jap the aham will be controlled advaita will remain and the feeling of you and me will fade the shadri pool like anger jealousy will be controlled then knowledge or atma gyan is attained this devout lady was thought to be mad because of her outward appearance but in fact she was a saint this leela is taken from shirdi chai baba written by dr k b gavankar